Make me a queen, and I would probably choose Johnny Depp or Ashton Kutcher to be my king. But I'm not a queen. These girls are, and they were vying for the Seventeen magazine's Queen of the Queens 2010 title. So who do they want sitting on the throne next to them? King. Yep, king. Chinese data. Robert Downey Jr. Really? Yeah. He's quite short, you know. It's okay. He's very manly. He's quite old, you know. It's okay, but he's still manly. <laughs> a man should behave like a man. Johnny Depp is is quite funky. Tae Young from Big Bang. Not just because he's hot and stuff, but um, I guess he's very warm, and I like guys who are really warm at heart. Yeah, so he can. So because if we are both warm, we can spread the love to everyone else together. Ah yes, all of them have lovely taste. And now for the stereotypical age-old beauty pageant question: If you were queen, what would you want for the world? That would be harsher punishment for parole violators, Stan. And world peace. You see, no more fighting. Like you know, the South Korea and North Korea now they are like having some like weird thing. Yeah. So best like every live in peace and then like nobody will just like kind of start attacking each other. Isn't that better? Don't live in fear. Yeah. So your answer is world peace. Yes, <laughs> I just said the phrase in a non, non stereotypical way. I would want to educate people to be more generous and in their warmth and be more expressive in their love for each other. We tend to be like very conserved, and I think we should express ourselves so that everyone knows like how we feel about everything, not just cooped up in our own ball. Actually, I hope if like I hope people will be friendlier towards each other, as in they're nicer and more courteous. Yeah, like especially in Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> I want to help the woman in India because I study in geography, and then I mean in 21st century, a lot of women in India is still suffering, and that's quite sad and frightening to listen to that story. Yeah. And if they were queen of Singapore, I would make all the MRT seats reserve seats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like um, people who really need the seats, they'll they can sit. I don't know. <laughs> I would want to ban smoking for real, just for once and for all. Smoking is really bad. I I personally don't like guys who smoke or ladies for that matter because I don't think it's pretty a, a good sight. And especially with all this pollution going on, I just don't like it. I guess Singapore is really good enough. Not say perfect, but I'm contented. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything at all you would change? Uh, maybe make the hmm make the aircon not so cold in the shopping mall. Uh, um, let all the let all the uni students have the the student fare. <laughs> the forty five cent student fare, yes. Yeah. Is that very important to you? Yes, extremely. Because like all of us rely on MRT and everything to go to school. So yeah. Well, it seems that small queens have big plans, and as a beauty queen, you've got to know when to speak up and when to stand there and smile for the camera. Check out our other clips for more on Seventeen Magazine's Queen of the Queens.